you know what's happened since then? The children born have known nothing but full bellies and clear skies. It's a paradise. Now then, today's impression tutorial is Thanos from Infinity War and Endgame. If you're new to this series, please do go and check out the first two videos as they cover the fundamentals of impressions that will be referenced here. But if you're all caught up, please do make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. So the Thanos impression is definitely one of my newer impressions. I can't do it as well as some of the other ones, but that might actually be a benefit. It's gonna be a little bit fresher in the mind, so the process of learning this one is just a little bit more at the tip of my brain lobes. In this video, I'm gonna give some tips and hints on getting started with a Thanos impression. And then I'm gonna do a case study on using clips of the actual actor to improve your impression of the character. So the resources you should use are Avengers Infinity War, but I also really like this clip from uh, the Stephen Colbert talk show where the actor Josh Brolin reads Trump's quotes in Thanos' voice. But I'll do more on that towards the end. It's an LA accent, uh, but also all powerful alien. So just try and merge those two if you can. Just see, that's, yeah. The tone is very deep and bassy. It's from the throat, okay? It's deep from the throat, but it's also quite quiet and soft. Gamora, you're a good fighter, little one. The speech pan is slow, but he really emphasizes certain words. What I try to do is allow the words to come up from the throat and just let them linger in your mouth almost. Have that delay before releasing them. Children born. He's got a very distinct trail off with his sentences. You should have gone for the hand. Trigger words that I use, born and Gamora. Born, born, children born. Gamora, little one, Gamora, Gamora. The villain, I quite like Thanos, because uh, he has that sort of relatable goal. Essentially a conservationist. He's basically Sir David Ambra, uh, but with a big metal glove and uh, likes genocide. <clears throat> Pained, he carries the weight of the universe's problems on his shoulders. You want that to come through in the voice. He's also rather strong. He's a big, strong muscle boy. When you're doing it, try and broaden yourself out just a little bit. George Morn, do you know what's happened since then? I quite like to look off into the distance and sort of shake my head a little bit as I do it. Everything I do has such great consequence. Greatest of consequences. You want that burden on his shoulders to come through in sort of a strain on the voice, like no one really understands him. I'm the only one who knows that. Josh Brolin also has sort of like a sort of a chiseled, quite a square jaw, so opening out your mouth just a little bit, I think, does help. I'm the only one who knows that. Not too dissimilar to Morgan Freeman, if you almost imagine you've got something in your mouth while talking. Well, um, I do understand if that guy that is truth. If you try and get those deep, bassy grumbles as well without actually saying anything, it really adds to it. Um, uh, uh, it. Um. So the reason I suggest the Stephen Colbert clip at the beginning is when you're learning impressions, it is useful, especially when someone is putting on a voice, to see them either in studio or in interview do that voice because you see the physical things that they do to get into character. You can see how much they open their mouth, sort of the face that they take on. But also if you hear them talk with their regular voice, you can see which bits of that regular voice trickle through into the character voice. This absolutely goes the same for cartoon characters. Don't try and learn a cartoon impression from the cartoon if you have access to the voice actors in the studio clips. You see the physical steps that they go through in order to create this original voice, and then you can mimic those. For example, if I was going to learn Futurama impressions, uh, there's a clip of all the Futurama voice actors doing it in the studio, and I would definitely go and use that. You're a good fighter, Gamora. Little one. Do you know what's happened since then? The children born have known nothing but full bellies and clear sky. It's a paradise. 
feeding on scraps. Your planet was on the brink of collapse. I'm the one who stopped that.